Hello guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Station where we are going to launch a satellite to the moon yes all the way to the moon so I have a satellite already built up it's a bit different from the last one uh, command pod is circular this time it's a bit bigger it has bigger solar panels instead of a uh, ion engine it has a proper liquid fuel engine right here under this thing and we're gonna need a rocket to propel it upwards I have one of my own design of rocket it's really horrible I can t I, I, I swear it's horrible but it works every time and I cannot seem to find it which is bloody brilliant come on where are you don't tell me it's not saved all of these are stock and this is just like some things I was messing around with oh ok let's just build this up SAS yes um, 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 um. fuel yes please a lot of fuel and an engine there we go so that's the main rocket then some decouplers four of them and let's see if we can get these on either very there we go let's go let us move them a bit I can't see anything. Still can't see anything. Let's move these up like this. Let's add some extra fuel for them at the bottom if we can. There we go. Add some engines which are which overheat like crazy, but we can have to cope with them. Okay, this is gonna be more than enough fuel. Um, aerodynamics, let's get some caps. Why not? I like caps. Let's get more decouplers and let's get solid fuel on like here and let's move one down to here okay I believe this should be enough let's add some caps like this let's get some struts going on like this Damn it. Uh, like this. Don't really need the top one, but uh, why not? Like this. Some struts if I can see like this. Let's take up this a bit more support because I highly believe it's gonna need it. And just because we can add some here, we add some on top as well. Okay, if this does not work, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, these things will. I highly believe these will not be enough to lift the whole thing up, so I'm gonna activate the main ones as well, and these fall off. And these fall off, and this activates, this falls off. Okay. 
this should be enough I will add a support I hate this there we go I'll put this down a bit get these up to here and put them in group 5 with all the engines and if this thing doesn't go completely off course which it will because I forgot to add winglets on it so let's end the flight and go back to vehicle assembly building I always forget everything on our alright winglets Zoom out because I can't see anything. Like he does the bit. What are you doing? I'm gonna move them. Just that these are in the way. So wiggle it here. Winglet here. Oh my god, excuse me. And uh, winglet. I can fit them in here. This should be fine. Yeah, I really hope it is. If it is going to be fine, then I can tell you that this is overkill. This is more than a fuel to get to the moon. Um, SAS is going semi crazy, but it always happens to me. So let's not go full throttle. Oh god, okay, let's not go full throttle at all because engines are gonna overheat and we're gonna have too much lift force, meaning that there's gonna be too much air pressure on the top and it might collapse everything, and I do not want stable though. It's looking good, it's looking good. I can add a bit more thrust to it, I guess. Not that much I actually want. Solid fuels are halfway done. This would not be enough, I could just add more liquid fuel on the bottom there. Or possibly even add another uh, stage of solid fuel above these ones. So let's drop these. Our speed is still increasing, which is brilliant. Uh, nearing the 15 km mark, which means that it's going to be time for orbital turn fairly soon. Did not add any any RCS thrusters on it, which might. Oh God, that's what RCS on. Thing when it turns, it's not super stable. Apoapsis is increasing. I'll go to a hundred kilometers out, which is almost here. Actually, 150 will do me. It sounded wrong. 90 degrees. Get the engines. Stop the spinning. I don't think there's any RCS on this, honestly. God, I'm trying to stop the spinning. I don't think I can. Oh, we have no monopro- oh my god, I forgot to add monopro one. So, if something goes wrong, you know what to blame, and that is me. Who else have done that? Come on, I 
can't even stop spinning it. It's not a big deal, but... Okay, let's go to our apoapsis. Here. God, without RCS, I can't even move this thing one tiny bit. I need to activate my engines to move it. <laughs> These things actually exploded. Just crashed into one another. So big mistake I made was not adding any RCS, which is actually not much of a problem as we will not need to maneuver around that much. But it's not the best. It's not the best, definitely. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves into an orbit fairly soon. I'm gonna cut the engines off and reach my apoapsis again. Let's see if I can I can control the ship at all when I'm stationary. Turn the engines just a bit on so I can get to my prograde. Almost there, don't overshoot it because it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get it back later. Okay, SES on. Get this orbit out. Okay, okay, okay. Fuel, we're doing good on fuel. Okay, before I forget anything, solar panels out. Solar panel, solar panel, let's get everything out because I will forget later, I always do. Everything's activating. Gravioli detector and accelerometer and the thermometer. It is freaking cold out here. And this, good. Now I'm gonna go for the more inefficient way this time. I believe is just make my orbit touch the moon's orbit. the same, not the same as the moons, but touching the moon's orbit, and this is the inefficient way to do this, but it's the easier way. You can maneuver around, but I probably will not have enough fuel to do a proper good maneuver, and probably won't have enough thrust power to do a proper good maneuver. So I'll get my orbit touching the moon's orbit. Slow down. Uh, just a bit more to 11. 11.4 okay uh, oh shit press the wrong button I pressed C instead of X to cut the engines <laughs> now we locate the moon we we'll click on it and we set it as our target and we warp around don't make the same mistake and accidentally warp too much because bad things are gonna happen Oh, 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 we have something, we have something. I will go here at my normal orbit, once I get here at my apoapsis, and I'll be going down, I will meet the moon at here, and that is not good. Let's add a maneuver. Here, I believe. Oh god, oh god damn it, no, 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 Stop moving so much! If I meet it the way I am now, I'll, I will not be able to get into orbit with it. 
and I am almost certain of it as well. To slow down somehow. How do I slow down? I'm not gonna be able to get into orbit that way. I don't believe. I will encounter Moon there. I might be able, but I'm not sure. Let's get rid of the maneuver. Let's see this. When I get here, I will encounter the moon, and it's gonna be all the way in the back. I'm not gonna be able to get it, there's no way. Let's add a maneuver here, maybe. And let's bring it... And... This here just mess around with these. Don't even, I don't really know what they mean exactly. They don't really have to. Just mess around with them and eventually you'll get what you want. I know that the purple ones are vertically, so I'm not change more, but vertically and not horizontally as I am now. I need them in there. I would prefer to go out a bit more out. Basically, that involves me, I assume, braking or accelerating. Accelerating, I think. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Let's try this. If this... Ah, for fuck's sake, I deleted the maneuver accidentally. God damn it. Clumsy fucking me. Okay, let's do this again. This is gonna have to do. We meet the moon there. We escape the moon there. I think this. Well, it's gonna have to do. Want it or not.